Now the common type of reflection that we have is actually called specular reflection and this is where the angle of instance is equal to the angle of reflection. There is another type called diffuse reflection and basically the light diffuses into all of these different directions often when it hits maybe a rough surface. And uh, the danger of this specular reflection is if you had a, a really intense light source, perhaps a laser beam, that means it can be reflected off a surface and maybe into your eye causing permanent damage, which is why the lasers, even the ones in a small laser pointer or a pen, can actually be quite dangerous to your eyes. So here we go, uh, we've got some uh, the words that you need to know about. We've got the angle of instance, which is between the ray of light coming into the boundary or the surface where it's reflected, and the normal line. And this normal line is at 90 degrees to that surface. And if you've got a normal kind of um, reflected ray of light, the angle of instance is equal to the angle of reflection. And the dashes down here just show that this is a mirror. So this one here is our shiny side on the top. And this one here just shows it's the rough side underneath that. For this one over here, I used a protractor and I found the value is equal to 54 degrees. And then I sketched in this line here using a ruler. And also you should be using a pencil as well. And that angle there, 54 degrees, you should measure out here as well. So these two angles are the same. On the other side, um, this is just a quick sketch. But again, we just want to make sure that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So you could draw in your normal at 90 degrees to the surface. You could measure your angle of incidence and your measure measure your angle of reflection and then when we draw these rays of light we again just draw an arrow to show which way they're going and every time it hits the surface we could have added in maybe one of these normal lines to then just make sure that our sketch was accurate to show where that ray of light went. Now this one here showed three parallel rays of light and when they hit the mirror here they all bounced off at the same angle and in the same direction. So this is what happens, like a zoomed in version of what's happening with a specular reflection. Everything comes in and it all bounces off in the same direction from a smooth surface. When, however, you have a diffuse reflection, what happens is that because the surface, if you look at it under a microscope, is actually quite rough, each ray of light is going to bounce off at a different angle. And we can see now that some rays go this way, some go that way, and some go that way. So this is what's happening at the surface when you have a diffuse reflection, often from a surface which is quite rough, even if it's something like a piece of paper, for example. So just a few questions there, um, just uh, going over some of the work you need to know about for GCSE reflection.